My name is Laura Valeria Diaz P. Ferrer Acevedo. I am a six, 17 years old. I live in Las Marias, Puerto Rico. What was the other one? Oh, and I go to the Centro Residencial of Oportunidades Educativas of Mayagüez, better known as CROEM for its siglas. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that again just in case they need it. Okay. So name, hometown, and high school. Hometown. Okay, name, hometown, and high school. My name is Laura Valeria Diaz P. Ferrer Acevedo. I live in Las Marias, Puerto Rico, and I go to the Centro Residencial de Oportunidades Educativas de Mayagüez, better known as CROEM. So what inspires you to pursue leadership opportunities? Well, my biggest inspiration to pursue leadership experiences is my family, my friends, and the people around me because uh, they need leaders for, the t uh, for tomorrow and they also uh, need insp inspirations and they're my inspiration and I inspire them be by pursuing those leadership skills. Resources are going to help you create a positive change in the Latino community? Well, some tools that I could use to help uh, create a change in the Latino community are programs like this one and just doing what every good person or leader would do. Just go and sit around with the people that need help and listen to their problems and find a solution with them to resolve that problem. Why do you think it's important for young people to play an active role in civic events? Well, it's very important for me that young people do uh, develop an active role in civic activities because we are the future and we are the ones who are going to be there in, in the next generations and we're going to lead those activities. So uh, we need to learn how to lead them so they continue going on effectively. So what qualities do you think are important in a leader? Okay, some of the best qualities for me of, for a leader are comprehension, compassion, uh, bravery, and uh, just love for what they're doing. Because if, if you don't love what you're doing and you don't have comprehension of the people you're helping and you don't follow the so societal rules, then you're not going to do an effective job. <clears throat> what are you personally doing to make the world a better place for your generation? Well, for me, I don't think I'm doing much to help the world make a better place, but I know that I'm changing it one step at a time. Like, I'm a Boy Scout and I actually work at the Guajadaca Scout Reservation, which is the scout, cra uh, scout camp in Puerto Rico. I'm a counselor there, and I actively volunteer at the uh, like different activities, like after Hurricane Maria, I went with my family, and we went up the hills in Las Marias, my hometown, and we gave water and food, and I actually helped in a leadership course, course sorry, called NYLT, a National Youth Leadership Training. It's a training given from youth to youth to help perfect those leadership skills that young people already have. And while well, I also will go to CROEM, I, I play cuatro at the Escuela Libre de Musica Ernesto Ramos Antonini, which is a music school in Puerto Rico. And I am the president of my crew uh, crew 39 of the Jagueca District Con uh, Council of Puerto Rico 661 and yeah that I don't do that much but it, it'll it helps inspire other people around me to become good leaders like I am. Great, thanks. Uh, what motivated you to apply to the Next Gen program? Well I got very moti motivated to apply to the Next Gen program because uh, after the College Board results came in, I went and, uh, to look for them and my counselor told me like, hey, it's a program and it's a paid trip to Washington and they teach you stuff about the, count, the, the Congress and everything. And my, my grandfather was a very big politician and I've always grown up around politics. So I was like, wow, that's a really cool thing. It's 
it's free. It's I'm probably not eligible because it's free, so it's probably for long, low income people, and it's free and it could help people teach and uh, learn about the Congress. And I thought about it, and three days before the deadline, I started making the, all the arrangements, and I started thinking about it, and I really wanted to learn how Congress works, because if you're going to live under some rules and stigmas, you got to learn how they, how they work. And after, after I sent out my application, I started thinking, I was really excited, because a few years back, I wanted to learn law. I wanted to study law, and I was actually pretty interested in politics. And I wanted to make sure that politics is something I really wanted. I really liked. Um, what has been your favorite part of your DC experience? My favorite part of my DC experience—that's a really hard thing, but. I really liked the different memorials. It was my first time coming here. So the even though we didn't have that much time to explore the memorials, we <clears throat> we went to the Smithsonian Indian Museum and I saw like the different dream catchers and my sister really like likes dream catchers and even though I couldn't buy her one cuz they're really expensive. Uh, I, I really like seeing them and I, I thought of her and the different memorials and the new people and just basically the DC experience was my favorite part because I, I came here with an open mind, I met new people, I saw new things, I explored new menus if you, you could say it that way and yeah the, the DC experience is my fav was my favorite part. How have you grown as a leader this week? Well, I think I've grown as a leader th this week because I <clears throat> I learned a lot about not only listening to the people you're leading. You sh you can help uh, make them help you uh, find answers to their problems. For example, like when we went to see Congresswoman Nidia Velasquez. She, even though we didn't speak to her for a long time, she was like, what was one of your biggest issues over there in Puerto Rico? And we started talking about how the education isn't so effective. And she's like, I gotta go, but tell my, here's my assistant, tell him what you guys think we should do. And we started like figuring out stuff and we came up with different ideas to help. And the, the assistant actually hadn't thought of that stuff and, the, and Nidia also hadn't thought of those things. So it's, um, it helped me realize that as a leader, you don't have to figure out everything because other, the people you're leading also have ideas. And uh, I think I've grown that way because, because yeah, like I didn't know that and it really opened my eyes.